Hey guys, so today I'm coming to you for a wash and go routine. This is the routine that I use um, every single time that I wear my natural hair. So right now I'm just making sure that my hair is thoroughly wet and I'm using the Pantene conditioner and this is all I use while I'm in the shower and I just use pretty much a whole bunch of the stuff and um, make sure that it covers all of my hair from root to tip. So once I finished putting all of that in my hair, I used a paddle brush and I brushed out the product all the way throughout my hair just to make sure that there's no tangles and no kinks. So I start from the tips of my hair and I work upwards just so it's less um, fallout coming from my hair. The way that I know that I am done detangling that portion of hair is whenever the hair starts to clump together and kind of coil into one single curl rather than many different curls. So once I'm done detangling, then I kind of just finger comb through my hair just to make sure that there's no tangles left behind. And you should be able to easily do that after brushing through it. So then I just let the product sit for 5 minutes and then rinse it, but I don't rinse it out 100%. I just leave just a little bit still in. So once I'm done rinsing, I just kind of squeeze my hair just to get all the water out of it. You don't want to be too rough when you do this part because you don't want to mess up your curl pattern or you don't want... Um, a lot of frizz so try to be very gentle with coming through and touching your hair then I just use a t-shirt and wrap my hair up for it to dry so once my hair is pretty much done drying I go back through and I wet it with a water bottle and this is just to ensure that the product that I put in my hair actually gets absorbed through my hair and doesn't just sit there and not really do its job so first I'll be going in with the Just For Me hair milk and I had used this in my October favorites video and I was saying how um, I actually really like this product. And so yeah, I still use it and that's the product that I use first. This kind of defines my curls just a little bit. To me it's kind of just like putting more water in it. This works really good for like second day hair to kind of revive your curls. So now I'm going in with the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Oil and this kind of just puts some shine to my curls and helps define them. And then last but not least I'm going in with the Mimosa Hair Honey by Carol's Daughters and I love the Carol's Daughters products like this stuff works really good on my hair. I also have some conditioner that I used from that. So yeah, I just run this throughout my hair mainly on the top part because this helps with frizz and I also scrunch it in to kind of define curls even more. So after about 30 minutes, this is what the results of my hair came out to be. Um, if I wait longer, my hair just kind of gets bigger and bigger, honestly. Uh, but you can tell like the shine and the definition of the curls and that really helped with from the oil and the hair milk that I put in it. So what I like to do is kind of shake my hair out and loosen up the curls or I'll also switch the sides of my part and it kind of makes it it gives my hair more volume than what it did so i hope you guys like this wash and go tutorial give it a thumbs up if you did and see you guys in my next video bye